I'm on my way to interview an owner of an interesting car. Just on my way to interview David about his Triumph 2500 estate. Now he lives about uh, an hour down the road, so uh, I'll see you then. No, I'm not performing any new terms. I'm here talking to David about what in Australia is a very rare car, and that's a 2500 estate. Yes. Now, how long have you had this one? Bought it in 1976. 1976? Yeah, yeah. My goodness. Yes. That yeah. is a long time. That is a long time, yes. Yeah. A mate of mine saw it driving across Harbour Bridge and followed the guy home. He brought it out from England as a private import. He had to have it here three months before he could sell it. And his wife wanted him to buy a Volvo. So I waited the three months and went up and saw him. And I don't like Volvos, but I told him how good Volvos were. <laughs> I, I, I bought his trying to say of him. <laughs> Just, they weren't sold in Australia? No, they? never sold in Australia. They were privately imported ones that came out here. Right. I'm guessing it was probably dead in Australia. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've seen a couple of them, but yes. um, there's not many. Not no, no. Uh, I, I had three at one stage. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I have seen a picture of the sale of a Mark One. Yes. A state yes. which I've never seen. No, out of the blue blue one. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think it was blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they're quite a nice looking thing. They are. They would have sold well out here, but it's yeah. typically a lay on if it's if it's gonna sell well you stop making it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now of course having a car for that length of time means that there would have been a lot of work done on it over the years. Yeah, well as you say it was originally a twenty five hundred in fuel injected car, automatic and power steering. Uh, in 1977, I decided to put a stag V8 in it no. because at that stage, people taking stag motors out of stags and putting yeah. V76s in it, and I wanted to prove that the stag motor was good and reliable, so I did the opposite and put a stag motor in it. Right, <laughs> right. And that original stag motor did 300,000 kilometres. Uh, and I always wanted to build a, a four litre, so uh, stag motors virtually two dollar white motors put together and the TR7s will follow on from the dollar white so you go TR7 bore and stroke end up with a four litre stag motor. Right. right. <laughs> really? Put electronic fuel injection on it, it's got a four speed ZF auto. Um, so, so you'd have to bore it out to do that? You've got to bore it out the TR7 bore okay. and get a crankshaft made with TR7 stroke. Right. That's expensive bit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you build the engine yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have had a push engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a machine and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got a belt driven water pump on it. Right. Uh, yeah. A timing chain? Is, is that a single timing, timing, single time, chiming chains aren't a problem. Yeah. I've got a customer in 300,000 K on German timing chains. Right. Right. So if you put pre, pre stretched German chains yeah. with new sprockets, you don't have a problem. Yeah, I, I haven't had trouble with timing chains. Well, I've had some which is the tensioners and the guides. Mm, uh, mm, my TR7 mm. was making a noise and I pulled it apart and the tensioner was gone altogether. Right, right. And it was just a steel on steel. Yeah, I, yeah. And I wouldn't have thought for the amount of noise it was making that that was the problem. problem. No. It was hard, there was noise, but not yeah, what yeah, you'd think. You think yeah, 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 yeah. So it, this car, do you use this car much? Is it a... Yeah, well, well it was Margaret's everyday car when we, when we first bought it. Right. And, uh, yeah. It was a family car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you would have done a lot of K's in it? Well, yeah, it's, as I say, did 300,000 K until about two years ago, I suppose, and right. that's when I started playing yeah. playing with motors and stuff, and then right. I've just recently had it re-sprayed, so, um, yeah, so it's, yeah, all, all ready to do another 300,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's got air conditioning in it as well, that's right. Right, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Well, 
Well, it's, it's not so much the, the air conditioning that I find, it's the fact that they work as a great demister. They are, they are. And these yeah. old triumphs just mm. fog up, and, mm. and I don't know how the palms ever did it. <laughs> no, um, no, no. Yeah, because I just, you can't see where you're going. And, yes. <laughs> right. And the brakes, did you have to do any of the brakes when you put the stag mode yeah, on? Yeah, I put the stag mode in, I had to put the stag, stag front brakes on it, and right. the stag rear brakes with the stags on wide drums. Right, So right. I had to, had to do that on it then, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. But now, now it's still got the stag brakes on the front, but it's got um, this brakes on the back. Right. But in this scenario, 100 diff, it's got uprated rear hubs with CB joint half shafts. Right. right. So uh, it's all, all good stuff. No, nothing to break. Well, yeah, nothing to break. <laughs> this should go forever now. Mm, mm, um, yeah, yeah. 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 And um, is this, well, having had a car that long, yeah. now I should imagine. The family's grown up with this car. Yeah, but it's still it's still had the anchorage point when I had the baby seen from Amanda and Amanda's now forty two. Well, <laughs> so, so I should imagine this this car's not one you're gonna part with. No, 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 I don't part with any of my car. Uh, well, that's, that's, that's a hard policy to do, I do. I'll keep buying them, you know. Yeah, yeah. They are a, a very nice thing. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so has this let you down on any occasions? Is no, it? no breakdowns. No, 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 no breakdown. No, no, no. Yeah, if someone asked me that question about my dollar, like we'd, we'd be here for another couple of hours. We'd be talking about breaking down here, broken down there. Yeah. And what about um, in the Australian temperature with the stag? Stag motor has a, a reputation a bit for overheating. If, if everything's right, there's not a problem. Not a so, problem. No, I don't have a problem with this. It's got air conditioning and everything on it. Yeah. We've got two two cooling fans, yeah. uh, as well as the original fan on the motor. Right. Yeah, no, no problem. Yeah. 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 So you don't always have the same reputation yet. Mm. Might never get up much above a quarter on the gauge. You know? Yes. It's just yes. A matter of doing the right I thing, think. I think. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Well, it certainly is a nice thing. Mm, mm. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for that little chat. No, that's good, Jim. All right. I'm Quack McMullard. Bye for now.